it has cystic fibrosis and it has a lot to do with my lungs and weight issues. It's a little harder for me to gain weight than most kids and a lot of breathing problems. When Lily was diagnosed, she was three months old and we, we were blindsided. We had absolutely no idea that she had a disease. We, we had never encountered it in our families before um, and we were completely overwhelmed. We went on the internet, did research, wasn't a very smart thing to do because uh, there was nothing updated on that and we read old information. It was really scary, really, really scary. Um, but Dartmouth had uh, a procedure in place for new parents with cystic fibrosis kids and they helped us uh, right from the beginning, walked us through everything we needed to know. Lily has been enrolled in, I believe, three or four now clinical trials. A clinical trial is a thing where doctors do research, like sometimes they'll put you on a pill or an inhaling medicine that you have to do or take every day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times. I decided to go on a clinical trial because it can, sometimes they put you on medicines that will like, can help other kids, but they don't know if it works or not. And they like, they won't know if it'll work or not if if you don't try it on somebody else. First, I had to do a little research of my own to see exactly what's involved in enrolling someone in a clinical trial. Lily's eleven years old now, and if people hadn't enrolled in clinical trials, she wouldn't have the medications now that she has. So in the future, the things that she's able to try and see if they work or don't work may or may not become protocol for kids in the future. They, they tell you what the medication is, what the study involves, um, how it could potentially help the child, and if it's something, if she falls in the, to the criteria, and if it's something that looks like we can fit it into our daily lives without you know, excess hassle, then we go ahead and, and go with it. What makes Lily a good candidate for a clinical study is, first of all, her age. She has to fall into a certain bracket. Um, the fact that she is pretty healthy. She does have the disease, but she doesn't fall under, under the category of needing, you know, a lot of, a lot of care and medicines right now. So she's healthy enough to participate in them. And but she also needs them, so you can tell if it's working or not. It doesn't bother me much, because it's just like adding another medicine to my daily routine, and I take a lot of medicines a day, so just one more is not a big deal to me. The EPIC study, uh, Early Pseudomonas Infection Control, uh, Lily, that was a very long study. Um, it was testing the effectiveness of um, inhaled tobramycin, on early pseudomonas detection. She fell into the category where she, she cultured pseudomonas early. And we, it was a cycled study, so she um, did a cycle of inhaling and then, and then none and then some again. And it had a very, very positive effect on her respiratory, just everything. And I, I believe they have made it protocol now because it's been shown to work. Taking part in a study where Lily is either taking a placebo or the real medicine was very strange at first because you really, you don't know. I mean, are you just giving her a sugar pill or are you giving her the antibiotic that's gonna help her lungs? And we haven't found out. We still don't know. The doctors and nurses always are very professional, very friendly. They know what they're talking about. Yeah, any questions that I've ever had, um, they can answer. They're on top of it. They, they keep up with every new medicine coming out, every new study, and they're right there at the forefront to pass it on to us. The benefits of coming to Dartmouth-Hitchcock for Lily's medical care is that everybody's all on, under one roof. It's a one-stop visit. She sees all the specialists on the same day and 
they all communicate with each other. All the information everybody else knows, so there's no miscommunication in between. Lily typically has to see on a regular basis um, her gastroenterologist. She'll see the pulmonologist. She'll see a social worker. She'll see a nutritionist. She'll see, if we're participating in a study, she'll see the research coordinator and the research nurse. And she sees an ENT. I like the receptionist because she's nice and before she came to be the receptionist, there was another girl who moved away to Florida who I really, really liked and I thought I wasn't going to like whoever was there and it turned out that I liked her a lot more. She was just she's nice and she always gave me a hug, lots of stickers and stuff. I think they should take part in clinical trials because it can help them and, and it can help other kids that need help and are too sick to participate. If people in the past didn't enroll their children into studies, we wouldn't be where we are today.